Valvular Heart Disease 1 Outline Mitral Stenosis Mitral Valve Prolapse Flail Mitral Leaflet Mitral Annular Calcification Mitral Stenosis 2D Echo PLAX View The mitral valve leaflets are thickened due to dense fibrosis with or without calcification. Due to fibrosis, their echogenicity, brightness, is increased and equals that of the pericardium. When there is associated calcification, echogenicity exceeds that of the pericardium and there is distal shadowing. Instead of sharp image of leaflets, there is reverberation of echoes with several reflections giving a fuzzy image. There is limited excursion of mitral valve leaflets with restricted opening of the valve. Due to fusion at the free edges and anterior motion of the body of anterior mitral leaflet, AML, there is diastolic doming of the AML. This is described as a bent knee motion or elbowing of the AML and has been likened to the bulging of the sail of a boat as it fills with wind. There is dilatation of the left atrium, normal size 19 to 40 mm. The ratio between dimensions of the left atrium and aorta is increased. LA is to AO greater than 1.3. M mode AV level. There is dilatation of the left atrium. There may be thickening of aortic valve leaflets due to associated aortic stenosis. M mode MV level. The DE excursion of the anterior mitral leaflet AML is reduced to less than 20 mm, normal 20 to 35 mm. There is loss of the normal antiparallel motion of the posterior mitral leaflet PML in diastole. This is known as paradoxical anterior motion of PML. There is flattening of the EF slope due to slow left ventricular filling during diastole. An EF slope of 35 to 50 mm per second indicates mild MS and less than 35 mm per second indicates severe MS. M mode LV level. In pure mitral stenosis, left ventricular dimension and function are normal. If there is associated MR, there are features of left ventricular volume overload. When MS leads to pulmonary hypertension, there is dilatation of the RV more than 23 mm and paradoxical motion of the IVS. There is flattening of the EF slope due to slow left ventricular filling during diastole. An EF slope of 35 to 50 mm per second indicates mild MS and less than 35 mm per second indicates severe MS. M mode LV level. In pure mitral stenosis, left ventricular dimension and function are normal. If there is associated MR, there are features of left ventricular volume overload. When MS leads to pulmonary hypertension, there is dilatation of the RV more than 23 mm and paradoxical motion of the IVS. Mitral valve prolapse 2D echo PLAX view The mitral valve leaflets are thick and redundant with increased echogenicity. There is a systolic bowing movement of a part of either or both leaflets above the plane of the mitral valve annulus. M mode MV level There is an abrupt posterior displacement of one or both leaflets in systole. In type 2 MVP there is a late systolic posterior bulge. In type 3 MVP, there is a generalized hammock-like motion throughout systole. 2D echo A4CH view. There is superior arcing of the mitral valve leaflets into the left atrial cavity. There may be an associated tricuspid valve prolapse in case of Marfan's syndrome. Doppler echo. There are features of mitral regurgitation. On color flow mapping, the regurgitant jet is often eccentric and slow in onset mid-systolic. 
Flail Metral Leaflet 2D Echo PLAX View The flail leaflet exhibits a free and exaggerated whip-like motion. The flail leaflet is generally the posterior metral leaflet. M-Mode MV Level There is a coarse diastolic flutter of the flail leaflet. Erratic motion of the affected leaflet causes a beat-to-beat -beat variation of the MV diastolic pattern. The AML and PML separate at the onset of diastole and come together at the onset of systole. On M-mode scan at the AV level, the flail leaflet produces fine lines with systolic vibration in the left atrium. Doppler echo On CW Doppler and color flow mapping, there is a jet of mitral regurgitation. The MR jet is often eccentric and directed towards the posterior left atrial wall. Figure Mitral annular calcification 2D echo PLAX view There is a bright and reflective echo density in the posterior segment of the mitral valve annulus. The calcified annulus casts a dense shadow behind the valve. The calcification involves the base of the posterior mitral leaflet, PML, and extends into the left atrial wall and the basal portion of ventricular posterior wall, LVPW. The architecture of the PML is distorted and the leaflet is rendered immobile. M-Mode MV Level there is a thick, dense band of echoes behind the leaflets reflected from the calcified annulus. Doppler echo Mitral annulus calcification may cause mild functional mitral regurgitation, MR.